Hello students, today we are going to discuss about the War of Independence. War of Independence 1857 is an important landmark in the history of subcontinent. The war was fought in 1857 by Indians against the British in order to get rid of their domination. So the war, it was fought to get independence from the British. It was an attempt by the Indians to drive British out of India. War of Independence is also given names as Indian Rebellion, Indian Mutiny, as well as Indian Revolt. Let's start with the causes. What were different reasons that led to the 1857 war? When we talk about the causes, we divide them into four main reasons. The first one was the administrative reason, then social causes, religious causes, and military causes. Administrative cause. The British, they were... They were taking part in the administration in the political affair of the country. Firstly, they introduced doctrine of lapse. It was a policy by Lord Dalhousie, which led to annexation of eight states in eight years. This policy was one of the major cause of the revolt, as British were annexating the native land whose ruler died without a male heir. This led to great unrest among the people as they felt that their lands were snatched away. Along with it, the British stopped the pension of the Peshwa's adopted son. Moreover, Bahadur Shah, he was told that after his death, his sons would be called prince, not king. Moreover, the royal family of Bahadur Shah Zafar was also forced to move from the royal fort, the Red Fort of Delhi, to Qutub Sahib, which was considered a sign of disrespect towards the royal family. The social causes. British, they started interfering in the Indian customs and traditions. Indian customs like Sati and Parda were banned. They also introduced Western education and forced Indians to learn English language. There was also discrimination against the Indians. British favoured Europeans over Indians in all aspects of life. Good jobs with high salaries were given to the British, whereas the low rank sal jobs with lesser salaries were given to the Indians. All these things led to a feeling of resentment among the Indians. Religious causes were another important reason that led to the War of Independence. British, they sent Christian missionaries which came to India and started preaching Christianity. Christianity was also taught as a subject in school. British, they also allowed the remarriage of widow, which was forbidden in Hinduism. All these acts were taken as an attack on Indian religion and thus in order to protect their religions, Indians stood against the British. Another important reason of the war was the military reason. British, they required soldiers to fight for them overseas. But many Indians like Brahmins believed that it would harm their superior caste. The immediate cause of the war was the Greece cartridge incidents. These cartridges were used in the new rifles and they were greased with tallow, which is a substance derived from animal fat. This led to resentment among the Hindus as well as Muslim soldiers as they felt that this was against their beliefs. It was a rumor that the grease was of pig or cow. The pig was forbidden in Islam and cow was considered holy. Thus, both Muslims and Hindu soldiers refused to use that, that cartridge. The Indian soldiers refused to use the cartridge and British punished the disobedient ones. In March 1857, a sepoy named Mangal Pandey attacked the British officer. He was arrested and then executed by the British in April. Later in April, the sepoys at Meerut refused to use the cartridges and as punishment they were put in jail. This annoyed their fellow soldiers. The revolutionaries reached from Meerut to Delhi on 11th May 1857 and the small British garrison at Delhi was not able to resist and fell into their hands within two days. The Mughal emperor Bahadur Shah Zafar was proclaimed Emperor of India. In order to regain Delhi, Sir John Lawrence sent a strong British force under the command of John Nicholas. 
After a long siege of four months, the British recovered Delhi in September 1857. The Mughal Emperor Bahadur Shah Zafar was captured, his sons and grandsons were shot to death before his eyes and he was sent to Rangoon, where he lived till the year 1862. At Kanpur, the struggle for independence was led by Nana Sahib, the adopted son of Peshwa Baji Rao II, a number of British fell into his hands and he showed great kindness to them. But when he heard about inhuman attitude of Colonel O'Neill towards Indian, he became furious and killed all the British. The leader of revolutionaries in central India was Rani Lakshmi Bai of Jhansi. General Sir Hugh Rose attacked Jhansi in March 1858 but the brave Rani Lakshmi Bai kept the British journal unnerved for quite some time, but later was defeated by the British. War of Independence ended as a victory for the British. But why? Why the British they won War of Independence 1857? The reasons of British victory in the war was basically their superior war tactics, their better weapons. Moreover, the Indians were not united. Many states of India helped the British instead of helping their own leaders. The Indian leaders were also not united. Everyone was fighting for their own benefit. Along with it, the war was not well planned. It was abruptly started without a proper planning. There was no coordination. There was lack of communication among different leaders. All these reasons led to the failure of Indians in the war. Moving forward to the consequences of the war. The war ended with a victory of British and British rule was started in India. In fact, war of independence marked the beginning of British rule in India and the end of Mughal rule in India. Indians, they were punished for the rebellion. Many Indian soldiers were publicly hanged Muslims were blamed for the war. British thought that it was an attempt by the Muslims to get their rule back. British also made many changes in the military. Some areas were preferred trustworthy, like the Pathans and the Punjabis, whereas some areas like the Bengal was not considered trustworthy as they were the one who initiated the war. British kept all the artillery under their direct control. However, there are some positive impacts of the war as well. The war ended the rule of EIC and India became a colony of Britain. It came directly under the Queen's rule. Queens made certain changes like it abolished the doctrine of lapse, which was considered one of the major cause of war of independence. Moreover, the Christian missionaries were instructed not to interfere in Indian religion as it was also considered an important cause of the war. I hope you will find this video informative. So don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Take care. Allah Hafiz.